Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 3 tonight here, and today we have a brand new Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens set review on the First Order Transporter. That kind of rhymes. This set retails for about 90 US dollars. It has 792 pieces, and here's a front look at your box. There is the back of the box, and this set includes one instruction manual with 132 pages of building. First up for the minifigures here is a generic resistance fighter who is male, and look at his face. Looks familiar, right? That's because he's the same guy that was an X-Wing pilot in the last set and also the same guy who was a First Order crew member in the TIE Fighter set. This face is being used like crazy, but at least it's not the clone face, right? He has great printing, great back printing as well. Overall, a very nicely designed minifigure. And you see that gun? It looks about the same, but it's actually molded in gun metal, which is really cool to see. So I like this figure quite a bit. You also get his female counterpart right here, who I think I like even more. Her torso printing is fantastic, but her face print is great as well. It's actually double-sided, so I believe this might be a new face print. If it's not, please tell me in the comment down below. And she has great back print as well, so overall a really good female resistance fighter right here. Our next mini figure here is the First Order Stormtrooper, the cheapest way to get one of these guys, and wow, the torso printing and the leg printing is great, but that new mold for the helmet right there, I love it. It just looks so, so good. The back printing is great as well, but he has the clone face, has the freaking clone face, which just ticks me off, but besides that, a great minifigure that you get two of in this set. Also with this set, you get the First Order Flame Trooper, which has a flamethrower with a gigantic backpack right there and a really cool long gun with some, like, those two pieces in the front. These figures look awesome. The helmets are kind of weird, but it's a brand new, really cool mold, and the printing is exquisite. I love that detail right there. Again, it has the clone face underneath the helmet, which just drives me crazy, but the back printing is pretty good underneath that backpack, and you also get two of these guys with this set. The final minifigure for this set, the one that everybody wants here, is of course Captain Phasma. She looks amazing. Now, she's not chrome. She is the pearly silver color, which is a little bit on the disappointing side, but besides that, the printing looks great. I love the helmet mold. Her cape piece is awesome, and it's really well detailed. She has a silver gun, which is really cool to see, and I just love it. I love everything about it besides one humongous problem. Take off her helmet, and I expect to see the actress's Gwendolyn Christie's face, right? No, we don't get anything. It's a black head underneath the helmet right there, which I'd be fine if the actual stormtroopers had black heads instead of the stupid angry clone face, but she is a specific character. She needs a face. Now, I'm guessing that Lucasfilm hasn't revealed to Lego what she actually looks like in the film. Maybe she's not even a human. Maybe she's, like, scarred up or something, and we won't even get to see her face until, like, episode 9. But... It's just bothersome that we don't get anything just a black head because I was really interested to see what she looks like and now that's completely gone. But besides that, everything is great here. Her back printing is great as well. I love this minifigure besides the lack of a face detail. Here is the First Order Transporter itself. Now this vehicle, I'm going to admit, looks a little bit on the odd side of things. It's not nearly as bad as the First Order Snow Speeder. I think it looks cool on like that set, but it's still really weird looking. To me, it looks like someone got an AT-AT, dropped a sail barge and a sand crawler and fused them all together into one ridiculous but kind of cool looking vehicle. Just moving along down the sides, these lights here are attached on in a very cool way. Lots of nice details. I love the use of these pieces right here that we also saw on the Imperial Assault here. That all looks very cool. I'll tell you what that does in just a minute. Some nice greebling details right here. These vents look fantastic. And the engines at the back of this vehicle, look at these engines. Holy crap. Those things are huge which is really cool to see and these flaps can actually be adjusted which is also pretty cool. Now the front of the vehicle here has this weird Technic part that I'll talk about in just a second. There's a light on top but there's a really really cool feature here. This thing really has drawn some inspiration from landing crafts from World War II. So basically you pull on that lever back here and watch the ramp at the front of this vehicle it drops down. It's a really cool mechanism. I love how that works. It's so cool. That's a great play feature for this set. 
Now to access the interior, it's pretty simple. This whole roof part right here will actually simply just, just detach. And the interior is big, it's spacious, not a whole lot inside that. There's some clips on the wall, there's a sticker at the back, but there's a lot of room. You can fit tons of troopers inside there, which is really, really cool. I'm curious to see if this is the vehicle that the stormtroopers in the first trailer for the movie are getting out of because a ramp does open up and looks like they're all about to jump out of something. But this is not a space vehicle, this is not an airborne vehicle, it's a ground vehicle. So I'm not entirely entirely sure about that yet but it's still it's very cool from the inside right here you can fit so many troops i like that quite a bit the roof section up here is where the main artillery of the vehicle is. You have these spring little launchers up here, which of course is very cool. And then you have a rotating turret with some stud shooters right there, which is very cool. They can't go all the way around because of this piece right here, but it rotates a good amount and of course they can fire, so I like that quite a bit. And then there's one play feature here that I absolutely just adore. I mentioned this part just a few minutes ago. By twisting on that, watch what happens. What in the world? This stormtrooper pops up from underneath to mount this little rotating turret right here through that hatch as a trapdoor piece. I love that play feature. It's so well done. It's really well hidden. I mean, you just twist them back inside and you can close it right there. That's a fantastic play feature. Lego did an amazing job with that. There's actually even another hidden play feature right here. This part can fold up and you can pull this out and this is actually the cockpit of the vehicle. This is where someone's going to be driving this thing. You can stand up on here, they can slide back in here, which is very cool and that's a cool look. I like that quite a bit. This I guess is supposed to be like a window right here. It's not actually transfers, it's just a sticker. And by the way, there's very few stickers in this set, which is nice, but this is kind of a weird little assembly, but I like that play feature quite a bit and it's a very nice little thing included with this set. And finally, a lot like the snow speeder this thing has wheels on the bottom but they don't stick out at all so this thing can roll around really easily which is very nice to see another amazing play feature for this set this thing is just so much fun all right guys favorite here on the first order transporter again i love how that name rhymes this vehicle is odd looking i will admit that but it i think it looks pretty cool and this set has the best playability i have seen in a lego set honestly ever I love playing with this set. You have so many legitimately good play features. Not like gimmicky kind of things that are like missile fire. I mean, there are missiles in this set, but you have an awesome opening ramp, an awesome opening hatch, lots of fun things to do. It can roll around, and if I was a kid, I would adore playing with this set. Not to mention, LEGO did not skimp out with the minifigures here. A set that came out two years ago, the ATT, that set also the exact same price and it had a very similar piece count had one yes one clone trooper this one you get captain phasma you get two stormtroopers and you get two flame troopers it's great for iron boning and not to mention you also get the resistance troopers seven minifigures this is just great i think the biggest flaw here is the price it's about ten dollars overpriced and the vehicle while it does weigh a lot it isn't all too big for ninety dollars so the price here is not great besides that i love everything to do with this set it is awesome i'm gonna give the first order transporter here an 8.9 out of 10. those are just my thoughts i'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below also, don't forget to like this video, favorite the video, share the video with all of your friends. Also, please go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. Please subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you guys next time on our Star Wars set reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.